Science Shorts gives you the definitive guide to using equations in questions. This is most applicable to physics as there are lots of equations you need to know how to use, but you'll find some equations in chemistry and even in biology. So, typical question. Abed walks 50 meters in 100 seconds. What is his speed? Now, more often than not, you'll get lots and lots of fluff included in a question, as if the examiner is looking to break into the short story game. But the important thing is to keep your blinkers on and look for the crucial information that the question is giving you. So, here's the first pro tip. Read the question twice. It's so easy to misread a question, get the tiniest bit of info wrong, and then lose out on marks. Pro tip number two, write down the important info that the question is giving you. You can even underline the important information on the question itself. Now that we've got all the information lined up, we need to consult the formula sheet, which, when in an exam, is usually at the front of the booklet. One of the great things about physics is that you don't actually have to remember many equations at all. They're all given to you. Which equation has speed, distance and time in? This last one here. Make sure you write down the equation in your answer. There's usually a mark just for doing that. Then check if you need to rearrange it. Do we need to here? No, because we're actually trying to find speed. And the last step, plug in the numbers and we end up with this answer here. Okay, let's try another then. Britta has a mass of 10 kilograms, and she's moving with a kinetic energy of 180 joules. What is her speed? Okay, let's write down what we know and what we're trying to find out, which is speed or velocity. We need the equation EK equals half mv squared, where EK is kinetic energy, m is mass, and v is velocity. Do we need to rearrange it? Well, yes, because we're trying to find speed, velocity, v. So we do need to do that. So we need to move the half and the m to the other side of the equation to leave v on its own. Make sure that when you rearrange, write down each step to minimize the chances of making mistakes. Okay, so to do this, we need to remember that whatever we do to one side of an equation, we need to do the same to the other side as well. To get rid of m off the right hand side, we need to divide the whole equation by m. This way the m's cancel each other out on the right hand side and only leave m on the left hand side. Then divide the whole equation by a half, which is the same as multiplying by 2. Finally, to unsquare the v, we square root both sides, leaving us with v equals the square root of 2ek divided by m, or over m. On modern calculators, you can actually put in all of the numbers in at once in one massive equation on the screen. I'd highly recommend not doing that because it's very easy to make a mistake uh, even if you just get the tiniest thing wrong. My suggestion is that you just do it one step at a time. We end up with a velocity of 6 meters per second. If that seemed a little bit long-winded, there is a quick and dirty shortcut you can take. To get rid of something off one side of an equation, all you have to do is do the opposite with it on the other side. So if it's being subtracted on one side, add it on the other, and vice versa. If it's being multiplied by on one side, divide by it on the other, etc. For example, take the equation power equals energy divided by time. What if we have power and time and we want to find energy? We need to get rid of time to the other side. As it's being divided by on the right hand side, we just multiply by it on the left hand side. What about if we need to rearrange to find time instead? Well, the proper way is to multiply the whole equation by time, then divide the whole equation by power. But the quick way with this type of three variable equation is just to swap the variable on the left with the variable we're dividing by on the right hand side. It's cheeky, but it saves time. Okay, your turn now. Here's a few equations you might have to use in an exam. Pause the video and rearrange them. Here's the answers. Well done if you got them right. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment suggesting what we can sketch next.